Hey there CNCers, Scott here from CNC Labs. We're doing something a little different today. Uh, we're gonna do an unboxing for Laser Beam, which people have been waiting patiently for. Uh, it's the first time I've done an unboxing, so forgive me if I mumble and stumble my way through this. I'm gonna open her up, show you what you guys get, and we will have another video showing you how to get it all mounted on your long mill itself. Um, you can go to the website to check out all the links for laser beam. Uh, there's already some videos up there from McKenna about how to use it. Um, so let's dive in and see what we got inside the box. So you will see when you first open up that there are some instructions, safety instructions on using your laser. Um, we can't state enough that this thing is not a toy. It can do some serious damage. Um, you're dealing with lots of voltage. You're dealing with lots of stuff that can set stuff on fire. So be smart. Next thing you're going to notice on the safety front is custom made goggles. Again, we cannot overstate safety, safety first. Um, I kind of designed these suckers so that they will fit over your existing glasses. Ask me how I know. Hey, how you doing? Always wear these when you're using your laser. Always. Done. Cool. Next, we have some ugh, industrial Ziplocs. And within the industrial Ziplocs, we have all of the different height measurements that you will need for the different lenses that we sell on the website. Um, they will show you approximately how high you need to have your laser from your work surface in order to get your burn done properly. So there's a few different options in there, each for different lasers that we also sell as add-ons if you'd like to go and check those out. Next, we have, we kind of threw these in. If you buy the other lenses, you're gonna need extra springs to provide some pressure on them when they're mounted inside the laser. So we've given you a seven, a 10 and a 13 uh, millimeter spring. When you buy the laser from CNC, you get the G2 lens automatically. This thing is kind of like the Swiss Army knife of cutting with lasers. Uh, sorry, not cutting. Swiss Army knife of lenses with lasers. Um, you can use them for cutting. You can use them for engraving. They can do it all, which is why that was the one that we chose to go with. There's the laser focus ring, which we will talk about in the video where we show you how to actually install this thing and start to use it. And some extra bolts. Next in our box of fun, power supply cable. Pretty self-explanatory. I don't think we need to go into that. And to go with a power supply cable, a power supply box. Again, pretty self-explanatory. So we'll just tuck that off to the side. These two bags hold all of the cabling that you will need in order to hook up your laser to your existing longboard. They are color coded. Where are we? Can we see that they're color coded? You know, we got blue on one end, we got, or sorry, purple on one end and blue on another end. And in this package, we have red and yellow. Red, green, <laughs> that's a good show. Um, again, we'll go through in another video how to install these, where they go, making sure that you get certain cables on the right spots because there are some easily made mistakes. Um, and that's kind of the basics of that. The fun part that everybody's been waiting for, we understand you've all been patiently waiting as best you can. We know there was a bit of a snafu uh, that we have rectified and we are now cruising through. First thing you're gonna see when you open up is how nicely packaged everything is. It's tucked in there, it's not rattling around, so when it gets shipped to you or if you pick it up, it's it's tucked in there nice. We have the driver box. This sucker is what controls the laser's ability to turn on and off. And there are a number of dummy faults built into this so that you cannot turn your laser on accidentally because that could suck. You've got your key switch, you've got a reset, and you also have an on and off switch. There are the dip switches on the side. Can we see those? Great. 
there. The blue things and the white things. Now let's try this one. This one better? Right here. And these are what control the amount of power that goes to your laser. Um, it's really important and we will go through it in the next video and bring it up as well, but on is actually down on these. <laughs> Something that I saw when I was playing with it was, hey, you would think down is off, no. Down is on. Driver box, very important safety feature. And last but certainly not least is your laser itself. Ta-da! And with your laser comes the air assist module. This little guy, you can see has a twistable, twistable little airflow director. You can tighten that down to the proper direction that you're looking for. You have the ability to tighten it on the side. And as usual, there will be a cable that goes to this to provide power. And the piece de resistance, the laser. Killing me not to say sharks with laser beams attached to their heads. Already mounted on the bracket for your long mill. Depending on what model long mill you have will depend on where you can mount it. On the Mark IIs, it will be at the front with, I believe, version 4 Mark 1s. It was the side. Sorry, it might have been before. We'll double check on that. Either way, you should be good to go. Um, and at the very least, I believe it kind of said you might need to replace your motor mount if you have a, a, an older Mark 1. But we can make it, you know, we'll make it work for you. Um... It's, it's, it is literally the easiest thing in the world. Couple of bolts, lasers attached. That's pretty much it guys. I mean, there's nothing too crazy in here. Um, all the things that you need to start using a laser are in the box. It's really straightforward. Um, again, we'll create another video on actually installing this on your machine so that you have no reason not to be able to use it. If you have any trouble, make sure you reach out to us. Uh, we are always there to help, that's for sure. Um, and that's pretty much it for the laser beam unboxing. Check out the website, order yours. We believe we're catching up on orders in the queue and making sure that we're on track to get them to you. Any questions, give us a shout. We're always here to help. Thanks guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that little notification bell to get all the latest and greatest content from CNC Labs.